Christians should care about apologetics, and let me share with you a couple of reasons why. First of all, it models the earliest followers of Christ. In fact, in 1 Peter 3.15, we find the Apostle Peter telling a group of persecuted Christians that they are not to fear what man fears, but in their hearts, they're to, supposed to set apart Christ as Lord. And part of setting apart Christ as Lord is to always be prepared to give a defense of the reason of their hope. Now let's look at that real quick. Why are they fearful? Well, apparently there's something related to sharing their belief in Christ or sharing who they are as Christians. And so Peter's telling them to not be fearful, but he's giving them a command to always be ready to give this defense, the word apologia, of the reason of their hope. What is their hope? It's in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we're always to be prepared to give a case or make a case for why we have hope in the resurrection. So it models Peter. It also models Paul, who was out uh, reasoning in the synagogues and in the marketplaces wherever he went. In fact, he engaged uh, the philosophers of the day. He engaged with the people um, around him in the cities. Further, we need to, Christians need to care about apologetics and get involved with it because of the changing culture in which we live. A Christian can no longer assume that the people um, to whom they're speaking have any kind of background knowledge in basic Christianity. That is disappearing from our culture. So a Christian may have to explain the basics of the Christian faith, may have to start explaining that from just um, points about worldview, like what, is there an afterlife? Um, why do we say there's uh, a good God when we see so much evil in the world? We are dealing with a culture that no longer has these basic answers from a Christian perspective. So we're going to have to be able to offer the Christian perspective. And finally, we are dealing with a culture that I'm afraid it has not been trained to think well. And so they don't know how to reason through different worldviews. In fact, we're pulling back into um, whatever is true for you is what's true. We're pulling back into the subjectivity or the autonomy of the individual. And they, that autonomy is creating a, a feeling where we can't even discuss reasonably these issues that matter to our worldviews. So I believe Christians need to engage in apologetics, for one, because it does model the scriptures, and secondly, because of the changing environment of our culture.